I don't believe, believe Jesus, Jesus like, like died, died and, and like came, came back, back to life for, for my sins. sins. I, just I just believe, believe that's, that's crazy. crazy. That's, that's mm-hmm. all right. So right. that'll probably that'll probably rub a lot of people who do believe that the wrong way. Um, I don't think it should because I think that's just an opinion that you don't agree with. So it shouldn't make you mad. Uh, but, you know, a lot of people are sensitive these days, and so they just get offended by stuff. But I would imagine people who do believe in God and do believe that Jesus died on the cross for their sins probably are offended by what she had to say. Uh, I don't, You know, whether you believe in God or not, to me, is irrelevant to this. What I kind of want to talk about, what I find interesting is that uh, I think that there is a correlation between someone who has conducted her life in the way that Amber Rose has and the fact that she would make that kind of statement. So, you know, you can believe in God or not, I don't care. You know, you can believe in Jesus or not, I don't care. But I'm just looking at Amber Rose and, you know, the the her being the champion for slut shaming, the slut walks, the Kanye West relationship, the tattoo on her forehead, the, the uh, embracing of modern promiscuous culture, you know, uh, you know, the, being a part of this whole thottish industry. She was basically one of the uh, originators of like thottish behavior, thought culture, and the glorification of it. Like the mainstreaming of it to where we say, you know, it used to be some, it used to be a situation where we said that's a certain segment of our culture. We acknowledge that it exists, but you know, we can all pretty much agree that in the grand scheme of things, probably best to not emulate that behavior. Then it slowly transitioned to it's growing, but we still don't want to emulate it. That transitioned to, okay, now we're accepting it, but we don't want to emulate it. But now it's just full blown. We should emulate it because that's the cool thing to do. It's the right thing to do. Well, men have been, you know, whores for all of existence. So why can't women, why can't we embrace our, you know, why can't we embrace our inner, you know, our inner, to use her term, you know, um, you know, slut, you know, don't slut shame me because I want to live this way. And it's all to the good. But what I find fascinating is the fact that, you know, this is a person who has championed all of these things and she also doesn't believe in God. I think that that's an interesting correlation. Uh, not that I think you should, again, let me reiterate, I'm not saying you should believe in God. I don't care. Believe in whatever you want to believe in. We still cool and rocking at the end of the day. You can believe whatever you want. But I think it's an interesting correlation between how her public facing persona has played out and the fact that she makes statements like that.